Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Beautiful day here in Arizona. It's about 70 degrees and it's going to get a little warmer. Today I will be doing just uh, just the basic stuff as usual. Uh, doing a lot of listing. I'll obviously show you guys what I sold on eBay. Uh, I, didn't think I, get, I think I got an Etsy order, yeah. got an Etsy order I can show you guys. Um, other than that, just doing a lot of listings. I might hit up a thrift store too later in the afternoon because I do have to go into town, so I might as well stop there and see what's going on. But other than that, just staying busy. So uh, let's see what we do today. So some videos back, I showed you guys these shoes, these Air Jordans I picked up at the thrift store. And just wanted to show you guys something really quick here. Now this, just after a couple minutes of me using my secret formula here, uh, the cleaning shoes, this is originally kind of what it looked like. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference there, okay? Uh, I took all the scratches off there. I mean, there's still a couple little flaws there, but, you know, that could be still fixed. But with just a quick little wipe down, Look at the difference, guys. So with this in mind, I wanted to talk to you guys because in a previous video I mentioned, oh, I've got the secret solution. Everybody's been asking me, what is it? Uh, you know, obviously it's it's one of my private label products. But if it's something you're interested in, um, maybe I'll put it on the market and you guys can buy it because it does do truly do, do wonders. Um, I know there's some people out there that currently have this solution and uh, I've gotten nothing but great feedback from them. Um, so if you're interested in, you know, Want to see something like this come out for me down the road? You know, obviously it's not going to be a $40 spray of shoe cleaner, but I've tried so many different shoe cleaners, guys, and this one is uh, is truly uh, night and day compared to others that are out there. So if this is something you're interested in, just leave a comment down below. I'll take a look at it, and maybe in the future I'll put something out. All right, just photograph some of this stuff here. I've showed you guys this in previous videos. I'm going to get that stuff listed here and just be productive, you know, just start banging stuff out, and hopefully more sales come in because... Uh, who doesn't lack money? All right, let's dive into what I sold today. Uh, first order is from Amazon. It's a vinyl record. It's Lover Boy Get Lucky. Standard vinyl record here in uh, very good condition. This ended up selling for $8.94. In terms of what I paid for it, it was out of that lot for three hours. Uh, that I already got my money back on it. And as you can see from all these videos, I'm still making money off these records. So, uh, plus I've got so much more to list. Gotta love that. Next item here is from Etsy. It's a vintage t-shirt here from 1995. Elton John, Billy Joel concert tour t-shirt. It's got the EMI tag on there. You know, when you're flipping through racks of clothing, always, if you see this, just take a gander at what the shirt might be. They're definitely from the 90s. And um, you never know when you find a gem. Anyway, paid maybe a dollar or 50 cents for this at a thrift store at some given point in time. I've had it for about six or seven months. Sold for $25 shipped. All right, moving on to eBay. Don't have a lot of stuff to package up today, that's for sure. That's why I got to keep hustling, got to keep listing. This is a pair of uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Trunks. It's got that shocking neon green to them there. Paid a dollar for this at the thrift store. I couldn't believe I couldn't get rid of these. I had it on eBay for 60 to 90 days and uh, no takers at $15, $20 are shipped. Um, so I'm like, all right, let's just throw it to auction because, you know, if I can't get rid of this stuff in 30, 40 days and it's under that $20 price point, you know, I, I just want to move it, to be honest with you. I don't want it to sit in my inventory. So threw it to auction. First time around, no no biters. Second time around, we got somebody to snag in the line, right? And it sold for $2.99 plus $4.25 shipping. So for a total of $7.24. And the last order here was that John Deere, uh, what would I call this? Uh, John Deere rainbow snowmobile suit zip-up black vintage jacket. Size medium or large. I'll show you guys this in a video at some point here. And... Um, Paid a couple bucks for this thrift store. Didn't last, last long. I think it lasted like 17 or 18 days on eBay. Uh, had it up for $50. Had 16 watchers, I believe, on the item. Could be could be off. Um, but there was there was over 10. I know that. Um, threw it out there with buy it now and uh, 50 bucks. Had on sale. I think it was at $39. Guy messaged me and said, "Would you take 25 for it? I want to use it for you know, some display or something." Um, I said, "Well, I would do it like." 35 30 dollars you know and um he just kind of came back you know when i told him 30 for, for whatever reason he just bought it then you know i don't know if he just saw the watches on there's like oh my gosh but he didn't take the 30 dollar offer just bought the for 35 straight out the door so 35 dollars shipped in this one here not too bad we'll still go uh, priority mail uh, we made a little bit of money on this and it's going to utah so we'll package this up guys and we'll see what else we do today got a question here from stinky lebanowitz hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly Mike, my day job used to preach 45 days worth of inventory ready to sell, max. Some places were closer to the 35 to 40 day level. From what you are showing, it looks like you have 
closer to a year's worth, if not more. You either need to bring in help to boost sales or cut back in the volume of your purchasing. And I agree, Stinky. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, since I moved here to Arizona, I've gone through a lot of employees here and there, and currently I have, I have nobody help me. So that, that's my biggest problem. I got two problems, it's like, and you, you pretty much stated them. You know, one is I have a lot of inventory that needs to be processed, that needs to go online. And second, you know, there's there's not enough time in the day for one person to, to, to handle that. So I'm in the process right now of, of looking for some help. I'm in the process of doing a lot of different things. Um, I'm also in the process of, of, of legitimately getting rid of the majority of the stuff that's definitely in my garage. And um, just kind of going in a different direction with a lot of my business uh, intentions here. But yeah, you're dead on. I mean, you know, there's no sense in having stuff laying around because it's not making any money at the end of the day, you know. Um, we can all go out there and stockpile inventory, you know, over the course of a year. And, and, you know, that's great. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But the way I look at things here is I've got the buying power. And with the buying power, I, I could buy all day. There's plenty of deals for me to find. But the problem is when you keep buying and buying and buying, it just stacks up. And if you've got nobody helping with you to, to, to list this stuff or to maybe list it locally or whatever it may be, you're going to be in a position I'm in right now. And, um, you know, I'm hoping um, over the course of uh, the future videos here on YouTube that I'll show you my transition, um, whether it's getting an employee to help me out with this stuff. Maybe it's me just putting it all in my trailer and doing a side of the road special. Maybe it's me getting a warehouse. Time will tell. But, uh, yeah, you're right, Stinky. I appreciate you leaving the comment there on my video. Um, you know, really it was a video I put out some months back. Uh, I think it was uh, I need to change my reselling business. And, yeah, that's that's the focus here. I need to change my reselling business to... Uh, to make it more productive, make it more profitable, more streamlined, and most importantly, you know, to make money. Ooh, before I forget, uh, shout out to you, whoever purchased that Dallas Cowboys t-shirt from yesterday. Got a message uh, just a little while ago about uh, somebody on YouTube purchased that t-shirt, so I super appreciate that. Um, I appreciate all of you guys watching. I appreciate you guys that go to my website, pickforprofit.com forward slash tools, and check out all of the, uh, the tools that I use for my business. And um, that way you can see all the, t the products, whether it's vinyl record sheets or it's plastic bags. And you go over there and support the channel that way. Um, love talking about reselling. I can talk about it for hours and days and months. And as you can see here, six years. Um, just it's, it's, I've got it in my blood. And I think it's neat that uh, I can come on a platform like YouTube, talk about it, engage with other fellow people that are out there doing it and grinding and hustling it. Just uh, I just love this business, guys. Love it. And I really appreciate all of you guys that watch the channel. It gives me the motivation every day to keep making more videos. Okay, speaking of locations, this is a building here. Let me back up and I'll show you guys. It's an older building. It's got some work that needs to be done to it. Let me show you here. It's two units. But here and here, I just need it for a couple months. This isn't like a homeland spot, right? But it's got some damage to it. Look at the inside here. Uh, I can get this for dirt cheap. So you got this side here. What's great is... It's on a corner section, so I kind of dig it, but it's kind of tore up. <laughs> so uh, I'm look at this for a while, see if we can get the prices right up. And I'm pretty sure this guy, he wants to sell this property and um, 80,000 total, but I can't use it for the long-term project of what I want to do, but it might not be a bad little spot. So we're here, never have any luck here. It's always overpriced, but we'll see what we can get today. Yeah, do you have any video games, or is this, this the only system you have here? That's the only system that we have in there. That's $75? Uh, yeah. And they wonder why nobody wants to buy their stuff. That's craziness. You see those prices? <laughs> $75 for a PS2 Fat. No controllers, nothing. That's what I got to deal with over here. Smoking crack, baby. Smoking crack. Look at all that goodness. Check it out. All right, done thrifting for today. I'll show you guys here in a little bit what I picked up. Uh, other than that, going to pick up my daughter, grab a bite to eat to put on the grill probably tonight. And uh, maybe we'll have a little chat a little bit later. All right, let me show you guys what I picked up today. I spent a total of $23 for everything you're going to see here. We've got this uh, Empire Earth Gold Edition PC game. This is some kind of uh, your wish is your command, how anyone can make millions. This is brand new sealed, globalinformationnetwork.com. I have no idea what it is. I just picked it up. So if it ain't worth anything, I'll just listen to myself. No biggie. Uh, got this Notre Dame Fighting Irish. It's got that nice Notre Dame on the back. 
Phoenix Suns logo athletic. And just got a plain old Phoenix Suns AJD vintage hat. This is a good find here. See how it says two for two on here? So I went to the register. I said, I understand it's $25.99, but where's the other piece? So we went looking around for it. Couldn't find another other piece. So she's like, well, this is too half off that. So I said, perfect. This is a Yamaha YMC-500, like home theater system here. These are brand new. I think there's about five or $600. I could be mistaken, though. But this one used, I think I can get 80 to 125 hours, depending on the market. If it works, i got to fully test it. It doesn't have the remote. So uh, we'll test this. If it doesn't work, and I can return it and get my $12 back. But hopefully it does work, and uh, we can make some money off all this stuff. So... Uh, yeah, just running around there, being selective of what I'm grabbing, not grabbing, too much craziness. Um, but I think overall, all this stuff, I should definitely make some money. With that being said, I'm going to stay busy here tonight. I'm going to grill out some chicken on the grill, sip on a Corona, get back to listing and photographing, and uh, just grinding it out. Hopefully, you're out there grinding it out. Ho hopefully, you're out there making money. Hopefully, you're out there finding some cool stuff in the field. If you did enjoy today's video, please hit the thumbs up. Till next time I'm out here, peace. Vlog over.